All right, so now we're gonna talk about isotopes, all right? So isotopes are two or more forms of the same element but they have differing numbers of neutrons. Okay, so we're gonna go through some examples and hopefully you'll understand how this works, right? So carbon, carbon, again, the number of protons determines the element. So carbon, if we look at the atomic number of carbon, there are six protons. There's always going to be six protons for a carbon atom. No matter whether it's an atom, an isotope, if it's a carbon atom, it's always going to have six protons. But our number of neutrons is determined by, or determines the, the atomic mass. So our atomic mass for this carbon isotope is 12. So overall, right, our atomic mass has to be equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons, right? This is going to be equal to the atomic mass. Okay, so we have 12 as our overall mass. 12 minus 6 means that I have 6 neutrons in here. Finally, because we don't have a charged species, right, this isn't an ion, we have 6 ele electrons to balance out our 6 protons. So now let's look at our, seven, our second example here. We started out with carbon-12, which is one isotope for carbon, but we also have carbon-13 and carbon-14, okay? This is how we kind of normally would write it, um, and then this is our uh, symbol form, okay? And so what we can see is that, again, we have six protons because we have a carbon atom. It's always going to be six protons if it's a carbon atom because the atomic number is six. The number, our atomic mass is going to be the number of protons and neutrons added together. So 13 minus six, now we have seven neutrons, okay? It's still a carbon atom. It has a different weight, right, a different mass because we have a different number of neutrons. It doesn't change the element, it only changes the mass. Finally, Again, we don't have a charged piece, so our number of electrons is going to be equal to our, our protons. Here's our last example, right? Carbon-14, again, we have six protons. It does not change. But now our atomic mass is 14. So here, 14 minus 6, we have eight neutrons. It weighs more, right? The mass of this carbon isotope is heavier than carbon-13 or carbon-12, because it has eight neutrons rather than seven or six. And finally, our six electrons balances out our six protons, so we have an uncharged compound. Okay, let's go through another more complicated example, uranium. Uranium has a few different uh, pieces, right? There's a few different isotopes. We have uranium-238, uranium-240, and we have uranium-235, right? There's actually a whole bunch of uranium isotopes, but we're just gonna show a couple of them here. Now, uranium, if we look at our periodic table, we see that the atomic number for uranium is 92. There's always going to be 92 protons if we have a uranium uh, atom. But our 238 here is the atomic mass of that uranium. It tells me the mass of that isotope. So 238 minus 92 is equal to 146. I have 146 neutrons in this uranium-238 uh, isotope. Finally, my electrons, I'm going to have 92 electrons to balance out my 92 protons. So let's go through the exact same thing with my uranium-240. Again, we're going to have 92 protons because we have a uranium atom, all right? So 92 protons, but my mass of my isotope is 240. So 240 
minus 92 is 148. I have 148 neutrons in my uranium-240 isotope, and then 92 electrons. So now we should be able to go through our sample questions.